All right, let's take a look on how to install Linux, in this case Zorin Linux 6, on an old computer on my seven-year-old desktop computer. I continue to receive many questions on how difficult it is to install Linux. So in this case, I am booting it off the CD, and we are starting the installer directly. Now, I just uh, did this off my uh, uh, widescreen TV running a uh, handheld high-definition camera. Now my computer is seven years old, not very zippy. Originally it had only 256 megabytes of RAM. That was not enough to install this particular version of Linux. I had to uh, install some more RAM. I boosted it up to a gigabyte of RAM and the installation ran fine, if a little bit slow. Now one thing you need to do when you download the file from the Zorin website, make sure you check the MD5 for corruption. If the file is corrupted, you will run into problems. And it may not even install. If the file you have downloaded is corrupted, you will have to delete that and re-download it. I know it might be a pain, but trust me, if your current download is corrupted, it will not work or it may not work properly. Obviously, the uh, faster processor and more RAM you have, the uh, faster the installation process. This is the welcome screen, installation in English. All right, I will click continue there at the bottom. You should definitely make sure that you are connected to the internet. If you're installing on a laptop, make sure it is plugged in. Now, in this case, this older desktop had a KDE version of Linux. You can choose, or I can choose to install alongside it. In your case, it may say Windows XP or Windows 7. But in this particular case here, I will replace that with Zorin. The entire disk will be used. Click install now there at the bottom right. Okay, where am I? This will take care of the time. Keyboard, English of course. Now keep in mind it pretty much does this automatically. All I'm doing is clicking continue. Okay, who are you? Once again, simple. You can type in any name that you want. And let's see, in this, ta in this case, I type in my comp, short for my computer. And I'll just keep it the same, running down the spaces here inside the boxes. My comp, choose a password. I just typed in 000, 000. 000. I choose to log in automatically. Click continue. Now it's going through the process here. This is a uh, welcoming set of screenshots or uh, videos here. And it's saying welcome in different languages. It's copying the files to the uh, hard drive. If you have a modern fast computer, I'm going to guess this will probably take you no more than 15-20 minutes. In my particular case, uh, because the computer is old, it took closer to a half hour, if not more. And it says, of course, welcome to Zorn. It will give you a slideshow to keep you occupied while the system is being installed. Now, once again, if you are coming from Windows and wanted to try this, uh, this is pretty much how easy it is. 
So unless your downloaded file is corrupt, it should install fairly easily and fairly quickly. And that's it. That's pretty much how easy it is to install Linux on your computer, whether you are running Windows or not. Make sure you download the file, check for corruption, run the automatic installer. As you saw, it's pretty easy. Reboot and you are good to go. Thanks for watching and as always, I will catch you guys sometime in the future.